Hello everybody and welcome to the shop. It's about three o'clock on Monday, July 3rd. Um, I'm late getting into the shop because um, I spent the morning with my kids setting up their new trampoline. They, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law for their birthday got them a trampoline and uh, birthday was, was a little while back and we just now set it up uh, due to an injury that one of the kids had. Uh, and everybody discussed it and decided, well, we'll wait to set it up until everybody can enjoy it. Well, today's the day, <laughs> and they're out there right now, and their favorite thing to do is blow up a boatload of water balloons and get on the trampoline and play with water balloons on the trampoline. So they are out in the yard right now, jumping on the trampoline and throwing water balloons all over the place. So it's a good day for them. <laughs> I'm glad to get it finally set up. It was it was, uh, it was was a job, man. He, he bought a really nice trampoline, and it, it had a lot of parts to it. <laughs> Took me a long time to set it up, but it's good to go now, and uh, I haven't tied it down to the ground. We get a lot of wind here in the Midwest, and I haven't locked it down to the ground yet because uh, waiting for my wife to get home from work, I want to discuss with her where we think the best place in the yard for it would be. Um, we may let it sit where it's at for a little bit and then move it. Just kind of, we need to kind of decide where to put it before I go to all the trouble to really uh, lock it down. But anyway... That's enough about that. Wow, I got really off topic, but it is what you're doing, Bob, and that's what I was doing all day. Um, I'm out in the garage or out in the shop, and I think I'm going to work a little more on my sister's um, sign today, her Kentucky sign, and I'm looking around here. I, I really, I got a video coming out, and you'll see it at 8 o'clock when this one comes out, um, and I'm just, and it's going to be the video on those nonstick bushings. And I just, I'd like to, that, that's the end of my videos. I haven't got any more queued up. Uh, <laughs> so I would like to do another video today, but I really don't have anything planned and I don't want to just throw something together and, you know, have a, a crappy video. So we may just let it lapse. Let me, uh, let me let you guys go for now. I'm going to get busy. I'll come back in a little while, fill you in on what's going on and keep you posted about what's happening in the shop. Hey guys, just give you a quick update where I'm at. Um, I've been working on this project for my sister. I've got it out here in the other garage. Let me flip the camera around and show it to you. I've got all the boards laid out on the table. And I cut the rough outline of the state of Kentucky out. There was a lot more paper. It was a big rectangular piece. I got rid of all the excess that I didn't need. I've got it taped to the boards, uh, made sure there are no splits or anything. And I've got the boards all marked so that I can line them back up. And I got some boards marked up there so I can remove some pieces. Uh, but I'm just basically uh, trying to get these um, cut down a little bit so they'll be a little easier to handle and I'm only gluing up you know a board from here to here as opposed to all that excess board no sense gluing all that up wasting all that time all that glue all those clamps uh, when I can kind of cut it down and make it a little easier so uh, I'll be working on this a little bit I'm getting ready to cut some of these boards uh, down to size a little bit well I finally got to the point of making a glue up <laughs> let me show you what I got this is my first two foot section. I've got it glued up and drying. Uh, a little bit of dampness on there where I wiped it down with a wet rag to get the glue squeeze out off of it. I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes, let the glue get kind of grab hold and uh, then we'll take it apart or take the clamps off and glue the next section up. In the meantime, uh, I've got a half an hour to kill, so I gotta find something else to do. That's gonna be hard in this shop, right? Let me see what kind of trouble I can get into. I'll keep you guys posted. Hey everybody, I'm on my third glue up. Let me show you. Here's the third glue up and uh, had a little problem. There's my second glue up and there's my first glue up. See how it looks a little rough? I'm gonna have to hit that with the sander. I actually glued the boards in reverse. I wasn't paying attention, so I flipped it over and I cleaned up the backside. I just have a small plane. It does, I, need a long, I need a larger plane to be able to do that. I just have one of those tiny little uh, here it is, one of these tiny little Stanleys. And it did an all right job, but it's not really for that type of work. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take my sander and I'll put some, uh, I don't know, some 120 or something on it. And I'll just kind of go over just to sort of smooth the surface out. But once these are dry and I've got about 10 or 15 minutes left on the one on the bench, once they're dry, I will um, be able then to build a build a French cleat for the back, the full length of the back, get them mounted to that French cleat, and then I'll build a spacer block 
I'll get that mounted to the back of it so I can just screw that into the back of these. That'll put them all side by side. Then I can lay the pattern on there, cut out what I want, and she's good to go. That's about it for me tonight, guys. I want you to have a great evening. Thanks for following along, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care.